I think Deshaun Watson's the right call for both these guys. Well, we're ready for the kickoff here in semifinal number two. Another big shout out to our sponsor, AMPM, for having us here for the second year in a row. And Juan will go to work at the 34-yard line. That's where FNB Monster, he can get on your skin too. He starts to throw some wildness out there. Absolutely, and, and not only that, he'll let you know about it. He'll talk <laughs> right at you and cap, cap right at you and let you know that he's doing things that you cannot stop. You know, he's a guy, his cousins, his parents are in attendance today. Big deal for him playing in front of his family, showing them what all this work and effort goes into this. For those of those, for those at home watching who don't understand what the grind really means to be this caliber of a Madden player, we're talking 40, 50, 60 hours a week sometimes to hone your skills. And he goes to Bo wow. Jackson. It's a dot. He's <laughs> glitchy off the start of the game. FMB dot right there. I mean. What else can you ask for, Scott? That's that's just monster being monster right there. First play of the game. Wow. And then Bo, for good record, for, for good, you know, just go ahead and kick the thing in. Why not? Go ahead, Bo. We've seen Bo no kicking. We've seen Bo no interceptions. And now we've seen Bo Jackson lined up at tight end, taking it to the crib. That Bo Jackson out of position card, that ability, is that maybe one of the most dominant Madden cards ever released. I mean, I think every team that we're going to see going forward is going to have one of those bows somewhere lined up on the field. Well, he's 95 overall in so many different positions. You could even play him at quarterback. Not recommended. Unless you're a triple option yeah. kind of guy. But yeah, generally not, not, not used at quarterback that much. But at tight end, that's going to be trouble all game long. Getting that seam route happening, he let that develop to get to the left side of the field. But generally, I'm going to look for him to hit Bo on some quick uh, high ball passes of the seam going forward. So it just takes 10 seconds for FMB Monster to get on the board. And now Melvin Gordon, the former Wisconsin Badger, will take it to the 37. And Mr. Splashman said for his offense, what he needs is a quarterback, a running back, and playmaker receivers. Anything else on offense, he's not worried about. He wants to be balanced, but he really likes to pass. Oh, oh, no. I'm sick. That is rough. I want to throw up. Oh, my goodness gracious. That's the double A. That's the double A. He tried to just get things to the line a little bit too quickly. When that happens to me at home, Scott, I'm throwing controllers somewhere around my house because that is a very frustrating way to turn the ball over. Oh, he might go two for two here, Scott. Oh. Cuts it back to the 24. Wow. He's using Austin Eagler. Just a 77 gold. Who? That's glitchy. Uh, that is glitchy. If you can if you can dominate with guys in the upper 70s and you're talking about guys who nobody has heard of before, you're doing something right. Rolls right with Deshaun Watson, hit as he threw. Of course, he had a 66-yard bomb to start the game to Bo Jackson. This time, falls harmlessly to the turf. One play touchdown on defense. One play turnover on offense into the red zone, more or less. Really just the worst possible way you could start this game yeah. with your splash, man. I mean, Monsta just really looking like he's poised to take this thing over and maybe turn this thing into a rout nice and early on, Scott. Swags into the end zone and pinning the extra point. It's going to be 14-0 early in the first quarter. This man is the favorite for a reason. This man is the defending champ for a reason. Got a little bit lucky, got a little bit fortunate on defense to kind of get a weird turnover like he did. But it still takes the, the glitchiness to, to get himself into the end zone yet again. It still it cracks me up to see Bo Jackson just setting the ball yeah, deep sure. on the kickoff. It's always great. But yeah, this is uh, already early in the game now, Scott. This is going to be not, not necessarily a must-score drive, but I think you have to at least get three on the board here if you're a splash man, at least some momentum, maybe a first down, get, get the ball going downfield a little bit more. Well, nothing has changed. The facial hair hasn't changed. <laughs> the offense hasn't changed. The mustache is what fuels him, Scott. Yeah, that, sure. that, that's what gets it's him like going. It's like Samson. You that's can't right. cut that Don't thing. Don't ever cut that thing. That's right. First and 10 at the 31. Last year's 49er champ with a big lead. Splash man checks it down to Melvin Gordon, makes a nice move, makes another man miss. And I believe that's going to bring up second and short. I saw the anticipation there. He was hitting his juke move before Melvin Gordon even caught that ball, essentially. So he knew as soon as that ball is in his hands, he's going to get that animation off that defender trying to tackle him. Nice job right there. And, you know, for Splash man, 
He's also playing for some family here from San Jose. His sister Manny came in from Nevada. It's two days before her birthday. Yeah, she's like, I gotta be there. She's this like, I'm, I'm not missing this. Absolutely. <laughs> Happy early birthday to her. And Melvin Gordon gets bottled up. It's gonna bring up a third and five. She said this was a birthday present. It's 14 to nothing right now. By the end, I wonder if she'll still have the same reaction. She needs a W. That, that's, yeah. that's, what, that's what the gift would be, is a W. But I know that she's really proud of her brother. He's out here doing his thing, showing off his skill set. And you know what? There's a lot of time left here. We still got three minutes left in the first. Oh, there's a ton of time to go. And there is Rice, the legend, the GOAT, Jerry Rice. When you have that guy out there running routes for you, the time almost doesn't matter. You're going to find him eventually. He's going to get some space. Yeah, he's the GOAT for a reason. So I'll put you on the spot. I do yeah. this to RG. I do this to Gibbs. Great. Jerry Rice played college at... Mississippi Valley State. There you go. You're one for one. Scott, if you don't think I studied colleges <laughs> before I called a game with you, you're out of your mind. I knew you were going to come with some good stuff right there. So That's first awesome. and 10 at the 43. You can guarantee those players like Peyton and Rice... They would be recruited heavily nowadays. Yeah, you know the uh, what was it? The ESPN 300. You know they might have put those guys somewhat yes. high on their on their boards. Yeah, how, amazing how the game has changed. Huh? How how guys are recruited. How guys come up from middle school. They're being recruited into high school. They're committing in freshman sophomore year oh, yeah. sometimes. I mean it's it's really changed. It's really uh, exciting to see how much football is growing from the youth level on up to the professional level. Splash man, trying to put a drive together here. Right over the middle, it's Jerry Rice again. Really great example of the user playmaker right there. We talked about it in the first semifinal game. Runs his original route, didn't like what was there. Splashman flicked up on that right analog stick. Jerry Rice hits that seam, wide open for a first down. Your know, playbook went with Jimmy Garoppolo. Mm. I feel a little bit better with Jerry Rice. As you're, <laughs> if you're gonna pick a 49er guy, he's got some good receivers out there. Trailing by Two touchdowns. Looking to the corner, gonna take off with a Sean. And he'll be pushed out of bounds at the 23 yard line. Yeah, I, I like that decision. He, he had the corner out kind of coming over there at the, at, kind of towards the pylon. Don't really want to force that ball already down 14. Nice decision, gain of eight. Live to see another day. Fresh coverage on the outside. Watson will use his legs. And then Anthony Barr from the Minnesota Vikings. He goes down in Madden lore as one of the best users of all time. Absolutely. Certainly in, in, in recent memory, I think if you ask most competitive Madden players, he would be the guy. Maybe a case made for Ryan Shazier as well. Also a really good, fast user linebacker. But Barr is so fast. He's so tall. Really difficult to get those balls over the middle over him when guys are usering with him. Third and three. And he Runs the inside zone with Gordon. And I don't like this. I don't, I don't like the play call and I don't like the no huddle. I think he got to yep. kick the field goal here. He described himself to me as a pass heavy guy. His comparison was young Kiv, who he wanted to think about. Running the ball on third and three, I don't love that play call. You see this a lot online when players are on tilt. They'll go to that no huddle on fourth down. I hate it. And now you're stuck. Because if you don't like what you see here, I you think he's going to time yeah, well, out. No, no, see, now we got to give him credit because ah, okay, there we go. he didn't like what he saw. He's going to back it up. He's going to take the three here and at least get himself on the board. Two field goals, you're only, you know, you're, you'd only be down a possession. And decisions like that, Scott, are exactly why you and I are sitting in this seat <laughs> talking about this game. We got a block kick. Scooped Woo! up. An F and B monster. It's going to have a three-score lead. Wow. 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 Goodness gracious, as we're sitting here talking about what a good decision it is to back the kick up, take the five-yard penalty. Monster just screaming off the edge. Huge play right there. And he'll kick the extra point 21 to nothing. That was Duke Riley who scooped it. He just came through the middle. I thought he came off the edge, but he came right up through the middle. Wow. And right now, Scott, if you're playing in the barbershop, if you're playing in your friend's basement, 21 nothing, you're off the sticks. Somebody else is jumping in to take your place. That was the legend, Bruce Smith. Wow. From the Buffalo Bills, who just 
barreled his way through. And I'm telling you, if it's 21 nothing at my house, you're either going outside to cry or we're going to reset and we're going to play another one. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how my friends and I grew up yeah. playing. That's for sure. You get to 21 and that's wrap. But, you know, this is part of what is awesome about the tournament series in that and playing these live events. Unfortunately, a, a sack right there. But not, anything can happen here. We get a little momentum going. We can see Splash and put, put another drive together, get back down into the red zone. But, I mean, even at the, first, the end of the first quarter here, it's going to take a lot to get back into this game. Oh, boy. Ooh. That's when you know yeah. it's been tough. When tough the, game. The answer was actually yes. But you answer no when you're here in the tournament. Yeah, that, that's never a good sign when, when the game is, is stepping in to ask, are you doing all right? Do you want to do you want to restart this thing? But you know, Splashman, he I think right now he kind of got punched in the mouth in this first quarter. Monster came out and did exactly what he wanted to do. Splashman has the ball. Still a lot of time left in this game. Let's see if he can get something moving. Let this pass attack just develop anything. Goodness. And I'm surprised by this because we talked with Splashman earlier and he seemed to be confident. Yeah. He did. He, he seemed like he was unfazed, and he really was ready for the stage. He was ready to take on a guy like Monster, who everybody in the community knows. You know, this is a situation where he's not a competitive player in the same way that a lot of these other guys are. He's playing on Connected Franchise. He doesn't have lab partners within the community that every day are making him better, finding holes in his offense and his defense. Finds Robinson. He oh, breaks a tackle. Okay. Tough game. No. That's right. Take that, EA. We got this. <laughs> Touchdown for Splashman, and maybe that'll take the pressure off. Yeah, I think that's actually huge. That's really, really good. I think he can kind of loosen up a little bit now. He knows he can get the ball into the end zone. It's only a two-score game. He just needs one stop on defense, take this thing one drive at a time. So Allen Robinson from the Jags breathes some life into Splashman. Remember, Splashman does get the ball to start the second half here, so if you get a stop, get another seven before the half, you're right back in this thing. Oh, yeah, you're in good shape. And I think, you know, he told us before this game, he hasn't even thought about Orlando, hasn't thought about what it's going to mean to represent the Niners. He's focused on the game in front of him. He's focused on Monsta. He needs to keep that attitude within this game right now. Focus on this drive. Focus on this possession. Get the ball back. And like you said, push the ball downfield, get seven more points. I was laughing. That was ha-ha Clinton Dix. <laughs> Getting airborne down there. Spin I was ready, you know, it was almost going to be Uncle Scott's story time. Like, I had a few <laughs> queued up. But, you know, all of a sudden we got ourselves a game. Let's That's see right. what he does with Juan right here. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, put those floaties back away <laughs> and don't let the floodwaters come in too quick here. So, second and 13. It was interesting to hear him, uh, Splash Man compare himself to Young Kiv, one of the other really great passers in Madden right now. Running out of that bunch a lot. You know, monsta has got some really good sticks, Scott. Every time he even runs the ball, you can just tell that he's really got something going on behind. He's, he's got a plan for where he wants to go with his ball runner. He's not just out there making it up. Well, he did look like Young Kiv at some point there, giving up 21 to answer. <laughs> That's right. That, is that, that, is that, that was too historic. Much yeah, I was going to say, that was historic, what happened at the, the end of that, that, that challenge there. But... We'll see if uh, if Juan can keep doing this thing. There he is, a little space. Mm. And that is going to make it second and short. You know, talking about young Kiv, his maturity, you know, if, if that kind of situation had happened to him a couple years ago, we might have never seen him again. But he's matured to a point where he took that defeat to Drini actually really well, surprisingly yeah. so. Yeah, no, I think I think we've seen Kiv make a lot of strides, and I think that kind of like a, kind of like Joke, a uh, similar yeah. kind of comparison, sure. a guy who's really emotional, really passionate about this game, fa finding ways to control that emotion, finding ways to keep it under it's control. It's a bomb! It's a dot! You can let your emotions fly right now on that one for Bo Jackson going deep. Oh, it's just too easy. It's too easy for Monster right there. He's shrugging his shoulders, unfazed by what's happening in front of him right now. Bo Jackson catches a touchdown, then kicks the extra point. <laughs> That's like the fantasy dream, right? Fantasy football dream. Fantasy football Pop Warner, you know, <laughs> something like that. Throw him in at middle linebacker, too. Why not? Bo knows. That's the fun thing about Madden football. You're the GM. You got to fit your players underneath a certain salary cap. But the stock of players you have to choose from, you can really come up with things very imaginative. I bet most NFL GMs wish they could play with the players that they, <laughs> that they draft and the players that they develop. 
I think that's one of the coolest parts about Madden football is you really get to have a hand in every facet of the game. And when you're playing somebody across from you, sitting on the same stage, it's a chess match. You're making adjustments and counter adjustments very, very quickly. Watson oh. takes a huge hit from Bruce Smith. Have a first half, Bruce Smith. <laughs> Two sacks, blocked field goal. You know, Monster told me before the game, too, he's not looking to blitz. He doesn't want to send screaming blitzes off the edge. He's going to trust Bosa. He's going to trust Bruce Smith. And so far, to say that it's been working out would be a little bit of an understatement, I would say. Second and 19. Flips Gordon to the other side. Deshaun Watson, the rookie, is looking like a rookie right now. And there's Bosa on the other side. You know, there's double trouble right there. And, you know, I think we're seeing right now a little bit of what we saw in, in our first semifinal game as well. When Playbook would drop back deep on first down, automatically kind of put himself into a second and 20 situation. And now, I mean, third and 30. This can be difficult, you know, this can be a really difficult down and distance to actually defend in Madden. The, the deep third down, the deep fourth down can be very, very tough in, uh, sometimes. But even third and 30 is pushing it a little bit. That's a long way to go. That's almost half a football field to get a first down. Big lead here. Third and forever at the two minute warning. Splash man barking out the orders. Watson. And he's going to have to go for it, trailing by 21. Yeah, and the last thing you wanted right there was a disrespectful safety on top of this game that has not gone his way already. But looks like he's just going to concede. He's going to get the ball just out of his own, inside his own 20. He's on his own 13. So, you know, down 21, it's, it's hard, to, hard to question the logic of just getting rid of the ball. But, you know, at some point, you're going to have to get points on the board. And when you have the ball right now, I, I, I would think about going for it, but it looks like he's going to go ahead and off to the special teams. It's going to put Dan Bailey in to do the kicking here. One of the best kickers in the NFL. I don't know. I saw that. I saw that Cowboys game over the over the holiday oh, break. Oh, there right? it is. Putting a lot of pressure. <laughs> this one checks up at the 46. They can't give up a score here. I mean. You're down 21, you can't be go down 28. That would pretty much almost seal his fate. Yeah, it, it, with the way that Moss has looked on offense, his fate may already be sealed. But, you know, this is something where Monsta, after that first, you know, we've seen the two deep passes to Bo Jackson. Monsta hasn't even had to really run his offense yet. He's been able to run the football and kind of be glitchy, be sticky with his running backs and kind of working the ball on the ground as opposed to pushing it downfield. We'll see if he, ah, there he is again. Triple coverage, but Bo gets behind him all the way down to the two-yard line. What else can you say about Bo Jackson? I mean, there's three guys around him. He just outruns all of them. Nice little lob pass leading him towards the sideline. Quick hike. Wow. And Bo Jackson is having a field day. The former Auburn Tiger Heisman winner. Two-sport athlete. I was going to say baseball player. Oh, and the disrespect here on the fake extra point. Okay, Juan. Yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Yeah, I know we're feeling good about ourselves. We're playing well, but, you know, for, uh, for, for Splash Man, that's tough to be in this seat. You're on the stage playing in front of your family and friends. But, you know what, it's, it's, it's good to remember that a guy like, like Monsta is the favorite for a reason, and he's one of the sure. best players in the country. And this is, this is what happens sometimes when you play against guys like this. For my show, Madden America, I do this all the time. I play yep. against these guys, and I get smoked all the time. And it's something that's difficult to really understand until you get in the seat and you play against these guys. Monster, everything he's doing is just working for him right now. He's, the way he constructed his team has been great. His execution of his game plan has been great. And just things, everything seemingly is just going wrong for Splash Man. Right? Now we got a show match right. in between this one and the finals. That's got right. a couple 49ers coming out. DeForest Buckner is going to be here playing it. And a guy that you played against, right? That's right. Yeah, Jaquaski Tart, the safety for the 49ers. Uh, unbiasedly, I can say probably the best Madden player uh, of an NFL player that I've had to play against, which is awesome. Ooh, big hit. Two nice jukes. The other guy, by the way. One of your hometown, or not hometown, but one of your Bears favorites, Benny Cunningham. Yeah. Very, very strong Madden player. He's got a little, got a little stick going on. Yeah, some of the guys, you know, spent a lot of time in college. Mm -hmm. They keep it going at the pro level. 
First and 10. Needs a score before the half. It's the understatement of the day. And he'll just throw this one away. And you know, when you're playing online, you can just turn it off. <laughs> and you go do something else. That's but right. when you're, you know, you're at a live event, you have to sort of roll with the punches. You got to just wear it, kind of. You know, you, you, it, this is part of being a Madden player, competitive Madden player. You're going to have games like this. It's the way it goes. You know, you're right. There's no uh, escape to the pizza rolls and to the basement to get away <laughs> from a defeat like this. Uh, but, you know, I, I think Splashman is, you know, this kid's 17 years old. He has a long, long Madden career ahead of him. He has a lot of time to learn from this. Well, that's why I brought up the young Kiv thing. Yeah. Not, to, not to disrespect young Kiv, but Kiv played in the championship, our last championship against Drini. Right. And it can happen to anyone Absolutely. at this point. Absolutely. You know, and for somebody like Kiv who, I think by all accounts, you ask anybody in the Madden community, he's a top 10, top five player sure. in the country top right five, now. For sure. And you can see it happens to a guy like that. Sometimes the wheels fall off and the momentum starts going poorly. And you know, you saw in this game, when a game starts with a 60 to 70 yard touchdown pass to Bo Jackson, that's a really big hill to climb right from the top of the game. Splashman just needs to keep his head held high and finish this thing out strong. Try and get some things to build on for himself in the next game that he's gonna be playing. 10 seconds left here in the half. Monster with a monster lead. Oh, there it is. Throws it into coverage, and he's lurked by Anthony Barr. You can just record me say that because I've, <laughs> I've said that line about a thousand times in the last four years. Anthony Barr with another pick. Yeah, and that, of all the Anthony Barr lurks that you've called, that was probably <laughs> one of the, the more basic ones right there. It looked sure. like he, he had a man open maybe to the right side in the corner, but not to be that guy calling out yeah, where the open pass guy, was Dave. after the play. But, you know, that's uh, that's Anthony Barr doing yep. what he does and, and Monster playing the kind of defense that he's been playing. Oh, he might. Mm. Ha ha, Clinton Dix was the last man made the tackle. 34 to 7 here at the half, Dave. And for Monster, it's all business, except for the fake extra point. But Splash Man, is, he's a young man, freshman in college, but he's getting a... He's getting some lessons right now. Yeah, he's in class right now, definitely. Yeah. Uh, Professor Professor Monsta is absolutely kind of giving him the business right now. I think Monsta, like you said, he hasn't been screaming. He hasn't been standing up and letting people know. He's letting his offense really do the talking for him right now. And the, the, the passing game with Bo Jackson, the ground game, and his ability to use his stick work once he hands the ball off, it's just too much for Splashman right now. Scott Cole, Dave Grunfield back with you at the half, 34 to seven. And I mean, <laughs> At this point, uh, I, I don't know who feels worse, Splash Man <laughs> or, you know, Samoa's Finest is sitting out in the audience going, oh my goodness, I gotta, oh man, I gotta play this guy next? Yeah, I actually have to hop on a game <laughs> against this dude. Yeah, no, it, it reminds me of, you know, when, when Skimbo in the class was playing hot, guys just really like doing kind of math in their heads so they <laughs> didn't have to play him. I mean, I would not want to play Monster right now. He is rolling on offense. Let's take a look at this first half highlights. It's gonna be a lot of F and B Monster. And he came out, first five seconds of the game, and it's a bomb to Bo Jackson. Yeah, that's just too much right there. Really two guys in the area right there, Bo Jackson, playing at his out of position, tight end position. Beautiful. Bruce Ooh. Smith, the Hall of Famer, just breaking through after, that would have really changed the game right there. I made it 14 to three, instead becomes 21 to nothing. Duke Riley able to scoop that one up, and then Robinson got involved. You thought maybe Splash Man would get back into the game right here, a little smile. Yeah, he knew he got a little broken tackle right there. Yeah, like you said, it could have been a change in momentum there, but then Sean Watson, look at that arm right there. It's a beautiful dot. You know, my man Dubby says that Deshaun doesn't have the arm strength. That's why he goes with Michael Vick. I don't know, F&B Monster's looking pretty good with old DW4. That was from the left hash <laughs> to the right hash. 60 yards down the field or so, that looks like arm strength to me, plus the mobility. And like we said, Monsta hasn't even had to use the mobility yet. He's been, yeah. able, to, he's been able to hand the ball off and really kind of use play action to let Bo and let his receivers start to get some, some, uh, some penetration downfield. He's had a nice shot picking up the blitz. Really no pressure no. on Monsta. Getting ready for the second half here, 34 to seven. If you got some stories, this will be the half for some Uncle Dave and Uncle Scott stories. Start pulling here. them out of the back pocket, <laughs> see what we got. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, like I said, if you're, if you're Splash Man, you know, you're playing for pride a little bit at this point. Sure. But you know what, that's a big thing. You're on this stage, this is, this is your time to show who you are. 
Keep fighting. Don't give up. Got to fight. Show what you got. Got to fight. Absolutely. All right. Time for the second half here. Semifinal number two. Winner is going to play Samoa's finest. And right now it's looking like it's going to be F&B Monster. And it's a fumble. And Splashman able to recover. That looked like the second button malfunction that we've had from Splashman today. We saw the, the quick AA interception earlier, yeah. and there it looked like he was trying to just go down. Ended up diving, the Superman dive, and that, that's, that's dangerous. Hands it off to Gordon. Gordon, six carries for 13 yards. Yeah, I mean, Monster keeping Melvin Gordon to right around two yards a carry. That's not going to get the job done on the ground. So we do have a mercy rule in effect. It's not the 21 skunk, but Splash has got a score on this drive. Or he's going to find himself eliminated via the mercy. That's right. And we need to see him get a little bit of momentum going here, more pressure. But this is something where in these next two plays, if something doesn't happen, he will be heading home. But as we talked about at the top of the show, Scott, coming out and playing a game at Levi Stadium, for your favorite team. Yeah, if you're a 49ers fan, I, you know. Walking home with $1,000 in your pocket, a couple Madden cool championship jersey, points, some swag. Awesome jersey. Absolutely, this is a win. You know, this is something that I think, even if you don't have your best showing, something that all Madden players can be striving for, something that everybody should be looking for to do for their favorite team. Third and 16. Two downs left in his Madden life, and it's more of the same. Screaming, screaming. And now fourth and 25 for his tournament life. What's your play call here, Scott? What do you got cooked up for this one, fourth and 25? You got something in, deep, deep in the playbook that you got? Or I know I don't. I, I tied Max out around 16, 17 yards. That's what I got. Uh, and I, you know, I'm, I'm looking at what playbook he has here, but I mean, it's really, you got PA post or, PA you, got, crossers, yeah. or you got, and you saw him looking like he's going to go to it. Going to go to Robinson here on a, Smart route at the sticks. Watch B here if he has time, but he doesn't. He doesn't even have time to run a 25-yard route, and that's going to do it. 34 to 7. And that's where the road will end for It's Mr. Splash Man. Good sportsmanship. I mean, when you're Juan, you got to, I mean, you know, you're, you're putting up as many points as you can. I mean, the sportsmanship is there, but when you're locked in, it's all about putting those points up. Yeah, this is this is a tournament with a lot of money and a lot of points on the line. Absolutely, it's not about disrespect. It's not about you know I'm running up the score. It's about I need to put up points to prove that I'm the guy who belongs. Especially here. in the I'm first half. Here. Absolutely. You know, you know you've seen some wild things happen. Yeah. Oh, you mentioned uh, Drini and Kiv. You know yeah. there can be a 20-point swing within a matter of five minutes, real time. Yeah, you got to put your points up. You got to do what you got to do. And that win is actually especially great for Juan because he didn't really have to show any of his offense that he's really going to be trying to run against Samoa's finest. Didn't pull out the glitchy dot he said he's been cooking <laughs> up that he wanted to save for the final. Well, so I think he uh, he's sitting pretty right now in really good shape. 34 to 7 win. Let's go over to Joe Fan. Well, guys, he's the champ for the reason. Still the absolute man here at Levi's Stadium. That stage is yours, my friend. You heard Dave say it. You didn't even have to pull out the full arsenal. Do you feel like you got a lot left in the bag? Oh, I got a lot of more glitchy stuff, a lot. Monster, how has your game evolved since we last saw you a year ago when you were the champion at this event? Um, my offense was more glitchy last year, but I still got glitches, so I don't glitchy. That's all it is. So why Bo Jackson at tight end? Uh, deep threat, fast, put him at receiver. You saw Samoa's finest. A nice game in that first semifinal. He poses a challenge. What does he bring to the table? Um, I played him once in, in groups to qualify. I beat him, but he improved so much. His offense looks real good, but I'm ready for West Coast offense. Like, that's what everyone runs, so I'll be good. I'll be all right. You say your confidence is, is sky high right now. Oh, yeah. I'm good. He is good. You heard him. The championship table is set. It's finest. Or uh, it's Samoa's finest against FMB Monster. Right over there. That's coming soon. Guys, back to you. All right. Thank you so much.